What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a short one for you guys today. We're not going to be taking a look at the big time Barcelona pack. We've already done that. If you've missed the review and training guides for those players, you can check it out. It's already up on the channel. So these are in a box of 150 cards and obviously you have De Jong and Sergio Roberto who are down as whole players. But today we are going to be focusing on another whole player that is going to be 100% free, okay? So we're going to head over, finally lads, they have updated the eFootball Point store or the shop with a new player. And it is a beastly one. It's Fermin Lopez from Barcelona from the same pack. Obviously you can get the new kit as well that we showed there. But in the players here, you have always had legends. Now we do have Fermin in here. And he's a very, very decent card, lads. He's 33 levels. I didn't think he'd be this highly rated. I kind of knew that they were going to be adding a couple of these. And there will be more eFootball Points shop cards like this coming where you'll be able to get them for 5,000 points. And it's easy enough to get to 5,000 points if you play the game quite a lot, right? Including the new Barcelona event that they have at the moment. That actually gives you 2,000 points just for entering and beating the AI challenges, which is very, very easy to do because it just depends on how many times you want to play the matches uh it's it's quite easy it's just a bit of a grind okay so this card is actually really really nice we've had a look at his player skills they're the only thing that's lacking in this card i would say he's down as a whole player i'm still a little bit torn on whole player versus creative midfielder or creative playmaker creative playmaker i seem i i think seems to have a little bit better ai um and its movement it's switched slightly since v3.2 and as i said in my other video for the big time review of the barca players uh, be careful when you're training your players. I'm working on a couple of videos that will help you along the way, but if you have any tips yourselves that you've found yourself, or if there's something that you're questioning or struggling with, let me know in the comments below as well. And as a centre midfielder, I don't think Firmin is that good in terms of his defence and his overall play, but as an attacking midfielder, he is an absolute beast. So, as we said, the one weakness this card has is going to be his player skills, right? That's the one weakness that he has right here. He, and I would add these additional skills. Double touch, one touch pass, way to pass, a low left to pass, and outside curler. Any or all of those would be really, really nice. I've ranked them in, you know, terms of importance, I would say. Double touch, one touch pass, way to pass are probably the three best that you could give him. Obviously, any skills that you give a player with that not that many skills is going to improve him, like chip shot control or anything like that. But think about where you're going to be playing him. Think about what role he's going to be playing for your club. And especially, this is the build that we've actually gone for with him. So it's 10 into passing, 11 into dribbling and dexterity, and 4 into lower body. Now, depending on your play style, depending on your formation, obviously you need to do a little bit of thinking about it yourself um, and, and think, right, where am I actually playing him? Do I need a little bit more speed and stamina if I'm playing him as kind of like uh, my main central midfielder? I would only be playing this build as an attacking central midfielder or an attacking midfielder itself, right? That is all I would be playing him. I wouldn't be playing him depending on him winning the ball back for me or anything like that. He won't be as aggressive as Pedri or even Gavi, who's available, um, either Pedri on the standard or else Gavi in the new big time box. If you are spinning for one of the big boys and you get Gavi, he is a really, really good player, probably better than Firmin here. But Firmin, for a free player, lads, is a really, really, really essential center midfielder with really good player skills. If you add one or two, you will make him a beast. And he's a very unique card. I mean, I definitely think having 88 acceleration with 88 dribbling and then 90 uh, tight possession, 90 low pass with the boost um, and 90 balance is a really solid card. I mean, he kind of reminds me of the the previous attacking midfielders like Simmons and stuff that they used to release uh, back in the day, you know, for free. So it's a very strong card. Let me know what that how that build goes to you if you do. Look, you might as well try him for 5,000 eFootball points. You might as well try him and build him up. I'm going to be signing him. We're going to be streaming with him later, getting him into divisions and seeing how he goes. Until then, lads, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're on the road to 40,000 subscribers and a huge giveaway at 40k. So thank you guys for the support and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.